With Washington wrangling over the debt ceiling in the near term and massive budget deficits longer term, S&P has downgraded its outlook on U.S. government debt. The fear that the White House and Congress will face gridlock before the fall 2012 elections. There's also the question about Washington's ability to get a plan in place before 2014. We think the debt ceiling debate highlights the big divide between the parties about how to uh, get the deficit down. But we actually uh, think that the uh, debt ceiling is going to get raised this year. Um, but So this is really about the medium-term uh, fiscal story in the United States and how and whether and when the administration and the Congress are going to get up top on, uh, on top of that. While the question how to substantially reduce the deficit remains unanswered, the White House agrees that a bipartisan agreement to attack the red ink is needed. We cannot play chicken with our economy. We cannot play chicken with the full faith and credit of the United States government. Even with this warning shot from Wall Street, on a positive note, S&P says the U.S. does have a fundamentally strong and diverse economy. But it notes the nation's deficit surged to 11 percent of total economic output in 2009. And that's a substantially greater burden than had been seen in recent years. Mark Hamrick, Associated Press, Washington.